Crews are assessing the damage in Weimar, where a sudden tornado roared through town yesterday. Eight people were hurt when that tornado touched down near the Weimar High School, you saw, but thankfully no one was seriously hurt. Weimar sits along Interstate 10. It's south of LaGrange in Colorado County, halfway between Houston and San Antonio. KXAN's David Scott reports people there were very fortunate. The small town of Weimar, south of LaGrange, stately, dignified, friendly. This is not the kind of thing you see here every day, and it's the kind of thing they don't want to see again anytime soon. It just kind of blew in all of a sudden. A locomotive blown clean off the rail. By midday, though, other trains were up and running. The only known injuries? Eight people, nothing serious, when a Papa John's truck blew over at a school fundraiser. But no students were hurt in this tornado. It hit so fast uh, that we weren't quite prepared for it, but uh, we were able to communicate with our kids and make sure they were all safe. Uh, we have confirmed that, that all our kids are safe, no injuries. The school was unscathed, but its athletic facilities were ripped up. One woman hurt trying to clear debris. Ten people were evacuated from the medical center when part of the roof was shorn off. No injuries. Dwayne Dilley had just left his hospital duty to order dinner when the tornado hit. We'll have to uh, get, it, get it to go and we came, came home real quick. Uh, actually, I have some really substantial uh, damage in the back. Yeah. We lost a two and a half car carport. The Dilley's two cars would have been crushed. You could see destruction from one end of Weimar to the other. This town of 2,000 ripped up, but amazingly no deaths or serious injuries. I was right there when it blew across the school. Then things went across the road one way and came back the other way, and I, I think I said quite a few prayers. I can't remember which ones. The cleanup is proceeding quickly. School will reopen Monday. One longtime resident here told me he hadn't seen this much damage here since Hurricane Carla. And he hopes it's another 50 plus years before he sees it again. In Weimar, David Scott, KXAN News.